Hi everyone. Today I got an email from somebody which the email was kind of like it was from the past because they're talking about such old school stuff. He's saying that he had a Nikon D40 or 40D, D40, and he's wanting to upgrade to a new camera. And he's thinking of the Fuji S5 Pro, the Nikon D2X or D200 or the D90. It's like, uh, they're all like last generation. So I guess you're upgrading to a new old camera. He says the kind of photography that he's into is portraits and some kind of creative stuff. And he likes to do water collision stuff. He was wondering about the Fuji S5 Pro. Now the S5 Pro, I still rate as one of the best cameras ever, ever, ever created. And although its frames per second suck and it has no video and it's got a smaller screen at the back and it's uh, generally unheard of, it does take Nikon lenses and both uh, full frame and crop sensor ones. It's a crop sensor camera, and uh, but its dynamic range is fantastic and it works with Nikon flashes and it also has a Nikon creative lighting system in it as well. So that's good. And you can get this for cheap as chuff, so, uh, chips or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is the one which I would have bought out of all of those. Nikon D2X and Nikon D200. Nah, I, I would definitely either go for a second hand D300 before I go for a D200 because that's like really old school. And the D300 has the ability to go up to 7 frames a second which may help in your water collision video images things. He also says that he's wondering about the Fuji because the images aren't so great in the RAW. I don't know what you mean there because I've done some videos with this and its RAW ability is fantastic. It's better than every other camera that I've done. It's dynamic range or it's his ability to contain detail in the bright stuff, highlights, that's what I was looking for, and also details in the shadows and be able to, you're able, you just have so much more movement in editing them. This, I would say, is the best kind of landscape camera as well. If you don't have an ND grad filter to take with you, you can easily use this and do landscapes and then just take one exposure and then afterwards edit, you know, put a graduated filter in the post and uh, take out the sky and j just still get all that detail in the clouds and the birds and everything that would be up that not be blown away. That's where this one rocks. However, if you're wanting for this kind of water collision stuff, I would say the faster frames a second that you get with the Nikon D300, which again, I think you can get for about 400, 450 pounds second hand now. And well, it's a difficult one to choose between them, but if I was doing more landscape stuff, I'd go with the Fuji. If I was doing more sporty stuff, I'd go with the Nikon D300. Forget the 200 or the D2X. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye-bye.